Hey guys, so I wanted to make a clip about what to expect in a counselling uh, appointment, the, the goals, desired outcomes of counselling and, um, and kind of that, that whole process in and of itself. When someone comes to speak to a counsellor, they are typically at point A, okay? They have a problem, they're stuck in life, they're not sure what the problem is, they're not sure where they're stuck, but they know something doesn't feel right. Maybe they do know what is wrong, but they're not sure how to move beyond that. Any sort of problem that needs solving, the goal is to get from point A to point B. So this is a very practical way of having a look at what's involved in the counseling uh, relationship. When we're moving from point A to point B, I think it's really important to have a look firstly at what got you to point A. We're, in a sense, unpacking layers of awareness, you know, continually looking at yourself in the mirror in a safe environment uh, where you feel like you're not going to be judged and shamed for that and kind of normalizing, in a sense, but also rectifying issues by taking a look at how, we, how those issues manifest themselves in the first place. So how we got to point A is a really important consideration in the therapeutic model because when we eventually move to point B, we don't want to fall back when you're not in that counseling relationship anymore. We don't want to fall back to point A, okay? We want to give you the tools to move around the hole the next time you see it in the road and not have to fall into that hole repeatedly, okay? So we unpack those layers of awareness. This is what got you in at point A first. This is what made you fall into the hole, okay? You didn't see that coming. That fear-inducing experience that created a negative self-belief, a restricting belief, that trauma, you didn't see that coming. It's not your fault, but now it's your turn to, to leave that in the past, to move beyond that, okay? That's an example. You weren't aware that so-and-so would get sick, you weren't sure, whatever it is, okay? That led you into the rut, into the pain, into the suffering. We see that now, we, we take an objective look and we see how that came about, okay? From that, we then move on to creating a new life, okay? Creating a, a, a potential point B. If we don't know what point B looks like, we're gonna we're gonna visualize a point B. If we know we want where we wanna go, we're gonna reverse engineer the steps taken to get to that place. So all these little things can help us move from point A to point B. I hope this is uh, as practical as, as I can possibly explain for you. Once you get a point B, you know, getting to point C, point D, keep continuing to move is what's gonna keep you moving in life, that, that purpose, that meaning, that reason to fulfill your potential and get up every day. So we got into a rut, we see how we got into that rut, we move beyond that rut, and then now we take the tools with us to continue to move beyond and beyond and beyond until our timely death. <laughs> so this is a couple of things that you can expect in a counseling relationship. It's supposed to be a relationship. It's, we're supposed to work together to solve these problems or give you the tools to solve your own problems in the future. So I really hope that helps guys and thank you for following.